All right, let's take us back to our roots. Let's crack the cans. Ready? One. Is there, are we rolling? We're rolling. Wow. Ready? Holy One, two, three. Woo! Cheers. First drink in a minute. Haven't drank in a while. Not at Cox and Cons last night? Mm-mm. I didn't have a single drink last night. I don't know why. I just wasn't feeling it, but today I definitely am. Welcome back to A Life on the Ave, episode number 39. Uh, you've got Mary Kate Garman, and I am sitting here with local celebrity Vincent Garman. <laughs> Are you our guest this week? Is this a Mary Kate podcast? Like, this is going to be 20 minutes, or is yeah, this a Vince be Garman? 20 minutes. Okay, I got that, you. Those yeah. are the good ones. All right. Yeah. Um, hey, y'all, Vince Garman here. Local celebrity, local uh, oh social God. media star, goes viral on the reg these days. How big is that ego over there? You know, heavy as the crown. So, what does that even mean, heavy as the crown? Yeah. Like, you know, he who gives the sentence must swing the sword to, you know, <laughs> use Game of Thrones reference. Yeah. Not a Game of Thrones girl. Yeah. Not Robert Baratheon. Who was it? Uh, Sansa Stark. Yeah. yeah. Lost on me. Yeah. Mr. Stark. Yeah. He told his kid at the first episode the dude defected from the wall. He swung the sword. He cut his head off. Yeah. Nobody cares. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Not a Game of Thrones girly, but. Nobody um, cares. Yeah. No, no, no. Happy for you. And yeah, you've just, uh, you've been viral a couple of times lately. It's been a, it's been a hot topic. Um, went viral this week. And when we say viral, we talk like local viral for us. Like we'd rather local followers. So local viral to us is like, it's a big deal. We're pumped when it happens. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into it. House 55, house bill 55. You created a video this week Mm -hmm. talking about the homelessness bill. Um, what are your thoughts? How are we feeling? Uh, feeling good, feeling good. Uh, so a few things there, um, thought wise. So, uh, number one, um, in our business, what I like to tell people, like when we meet sellers and just people in general sort of deal, uh, like when we're selling your house, like, like we're really realistically marketing your house, right? We're Um, a marketing firm. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. How the Delaware license law is written for us as real estate agents, when we are, uh, selling a property, our job is to go ahead procure and present offers. Uh, so to do that, you go ahead and you market the property. And we do that um, pretty well. We, we try to do that pretty well. So just with our social media presence in general, uh, I've always had a large social media presence. Um, I was voted in 2011 most Facebookist of my class. And you'll never let us forget it. No, I'll never let anybody forget <laughs> it. Um, and like we should put that on our swag yeah yeah we should right most facebook Um, but like literally ever since myspace came out like i was huge on myspace and embedding videos into your myspace putting songs on on your myspace everybody became a coder when we had myspace back in the day correct who was in your top eight uh my top eight was you know all the chicks i was trying to grind up with uh at saint kev's dances um, would i've been in the top eight my few boys yeah if you would have let me grind up on you you, you would have spot numero uno <laughs> the barrier in there. of entry was low yeah um but yeah going back to like myspace and facebook i was an early adapter to twitter um and just like using those platforms uh i've always used it as a way um my wife who is you know doing the talking on this podcast, uh, the proctoring, I guess, um, doing the Joe Rogan job of this podcast. Uh, my wife loves to tell people that, um, I just have an uncanny ability to go ahead and keep in touch with every person I've ever, I've ever met. Yeah. I'm very jealous of it. Yeah. So because like, I don't even talk to like my college roommates anymore. Like people I literally lived with for years Yeah, and it's crazy. I'm just very bad at keeping up with people. And you are fantastic at it yeah so with that uh we like like i've i've done a very good job at doing that it's just something that's just ingrained in me naturally uh it you know is what it is like i tell people i have a photographic memory like if i see something and read it like i am more or less going to remember forever the, the, the vast majority of it for forever yeah uh and like my social media strategy is like your phone literally listens to you so like if i meet someone new um you know you go ahead you send them a follow you send them a facebook friend request uh and it's very simple they'll keep you up to date on your life all you have to do is just consume the content right um so when you go ahead and you follow someone on instagram instagram algorithm is going to pump them right to the top of your timeline like the next couple times you log on to instagram so all you got to do is just double tap and they'll stay in your feed so it's a very easy way to like keep in touch with people 
on there, uh, one of our first mentors in real estate, Phyllis Lynch told us this. She's like, it's literally like being a ninja, like working, you're sitting there watching your trashy TV at night, watching the Sixers, watching the Phillies, whatever you're doing, take 20 minutes, scroll through Facebook, just comment on the first 10 posts you see, right? Just, you know, throw your voice out there. So using that, we we've used that to grow, um, our audience, our branding. And I think we do a very good job of, of putting ourselves out there that when people come up to us, they like know what's going on in our lives. They right. know what's going on with our kids. They know what's going on with our team. I've had so many people come up to me and they're like, they're like, Oh yeah. Like how's Cole doing? I'm like, you've never even met. Cole. You don't even know Cole, <laughs> right? Yeah. You don't even know who Cole and Jade are. I love when people ask me yeah, what Cole is. Yeah. And like when I give our tour <laughs> so of the office, I'm like, this is where Cole's, you know, stands. I just Connor. assume people know them at this point. Right. Yeah. 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 And I'm, I'm like, have you met Jade? They're like, no, I haven't met Jade, but like, I feel like I know her. Everyone yeah, does. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. Um, and it's a funny life we live. Yeah, it, it is funny. And then you go ahead and you know you throw some gasoline on the fire. Shout out to uh, our 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 guy, our man of the hour, Mr. Pat Elliott, throwing gasoline on our fire. Uh, we love and appreciate you. Um, you go ahead and you throw some gasoline on that fire. Now our Garmin Group page. Every time you go on to Instagram, like you're seeing us on there, and we're just constantly at the top of that feed, um, which is the name of the game right now. It's it's getting eyeballs on there, and then not only getting eyeballs on there, getting eyeballs to stay on there right so uh to circle back to your question um it is wild like going out in public i'm not originally from delaware and we've talked about this on on these podcasts before um but i see delaware as, as a place where you can hop in and you know make a name for yourself uh delaware everybody loves to say you've either dated related or you hated yeah um so going ahead and doing that like if you can meet a couple connectors here in delaware you can pretty much meet anybody Everyone. in the state right yeah and I, I learned that very early on in my career it's like charlotte's web or whatever like when you meet that one person that just like branches out correct yeah 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 and i learned that very early on in my you know quote unquote delaware career um how i got to delaware i grew up going to blue rocks games going to kahunaville when i was a young child <laughs> um and you know coming to dick's sporting goods that was the extent of my delaware right, right? or like best buy yeah right best buy yeah uh so that was the extent of my delaware experience um i transferred into university of delaware when i was a junior to play lacrosse I played lacrosse my whole junior year. I met, you know, some people here and there. Um, Delaware was a much larger school than the previous uh, one I went to. And my senior year, I stopped playing lacrosse. And that's when Mary Kate and I became friends. And like, literally, like, I just latched on to Mary Kate because we had a class all the way up on like North Campus. And we both lived on like South Campus. And so it was a 20 minute walk. So after class, we would walk down Main Street and you were the freaking mayor of Main Street. Like you just knew everybody just be bopping around i was such like a ud ho like not like actually but like in that like i well you had knew. a fun junior year <laughs> yeah you no, have to I, remind like, me i yeah. got to know a lot of people i i saw ud as a huge i going from my little pond to into this big massive ocean of ud i was like i'm gonna meet as many people as i possibly can and so i definitely did a decent job getting to know people there i mm -hmm. made a lot of friends in a short amount of time yeah so i'm terrible at keeping up with them but i did make them yeah yeah and like so yeah, going, i was the mayor though you always said i was the the heart of main street Conde kate herself yeah there i am um so going ahead and you know using that using what pat does uh for us and with us he said um, i had a fun junior year <laughs> that's what you love to tell people yeah i i did, I did go a little crazy my junior year how to get out you of my know. system yeah get it out of your system it's all good um and uh you know you're still here you're still standing shout out yeah hey, it's all good um so yeah sorry guys she's mine now so <laughs> <laughs> sorry ud football team my bad <laughs> we like that fun here we like that fun here call me out um yeah so going ahead and uh like it's it's wild now i'll literally go out to brouhaha or i'll go out to oyster house and like i have people come up to me and they're like hey dude like i i'm vince and they're like oh i know who you are and i'm I like know it's weird i'm like i don't know who you are but thank you yeah, yeah hopefully you know me weird. in a good light so uh most recently i've been getting um notice we had a video go ultra viral ultra, ultra local viral here people of trolley video yeah. so we were quick to hop on that trend so people at trolley um literally like, hundred thousand plus views yeah the girl from southeast kitchen came out the other night she's like you're the guy i'm like she goes people at trolley video i'm like ah. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, like thank you, you know me for, for care something good there. Us. They knew um, us from it. Yeah, but switching to the topic at hand, House Bill Fifty Five uh, is our most recent viral video, and with that, uh, 
um, the goal there was, was more or less just, I, I would say like community awareness. So, um, so what I mean by community awareness is like, Hey, a lot of these stuff, like these, you know, legislations and stuff gets passed. Like, like, let's just call the elephant out in the room. Like we're in a privileged position with what we do and how hard we have worked to get to this position where I do have time to go ahead and read a full bill. Yeah. Right. And I like to think, you know, my parents invested in my education. Um, we're still so paying for your college education. I'm still paying for my college education. Yeah. 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 So, so invested in my education where I do have critical thinking skills. I do have reading comprehension skills. I do have, you know, the ability to go ahead and read something and interpret it. So, um, so what I did, I went ahead, I read the bill and I interpreted it, you know, to my own opinion. Right. So, so that was my view there of, you know, Hey, this is how I think that the bill could potentially be interpreted enacted, right. or interpreted, right? right? There's always like the letter of the law, the intent of the law, and then the law actually in practice. So with the law actually in practice, it's it's, it's one way that, that that the bill could go ahead and, and look like. And in the video in there, I said, hey, look, I'm not saying that like, you know, this is right or wrong. I'm saying like, hey, look, this is my interpretation of it. It's going to legislation on Wednesday. It was scheduled to go. Um, and like i wanted to start a conversation so right. uh we posted that video sunday afternoon a couple hours into it pat texted me and was like hey look these comments are popping off and i said look like we're not shutting off comments we're, we're not, not deleting it down we're right. not deleting it my first reaction is we got to delete it we said yeah. something wrong we're, we're gonna get crucified yeah yeah i yeah. always panic i'm definitely like the pr of our relationship i panicked mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah so 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 we're not gonna you know back down because there's a, a few keyboard warriors right. out there on both sides both sides like yeah. firing off shots in, in in the comments like number one i'm an american and freedom of speech i totally believe in the freedom of speech right so uh we all have that right yeah. as citizens and like there's consequences of that i understand the consequences hey you might not want to support my business hey because i was wearing a cafe karma shirt like you may not want to support their business and, right we, and, you weren't even thinking about that yeah what, what wasn't even thinking about that right. so we learned um, a lot of lessons through this process yeah for sure for sure so so that's you know, if I have two regrets from the video, number one, it was what I would, I put a friend and a fellow business owner in a position um, where, you know, her business could potentially be impacted. So that's my uh, one regret. And then the second regret is like, hey, I identified myself as a business owner. Right. And not some people are like, he's a realtor, not a business owner. I'm like, okay, sorry yeah. that you don't define us as business owners. Yeah. So whatever. Um, well, not necessarily that like like just like, like i wish i would have just identified myself as like hey i'm vince i'm a human being right i live in um, trolley square or i live in 40 acres yeah yeah or just hey i'm i'm, I'm a, a delaware resident right yeah so um those are like my only two you know regrets of lessons. it they're lessons yeah, that you le learned lessons um but what i think it did go ahead and do um i'm not one to back down from a challenge i'm not one to just you know succumb hide. to peer pressure or, no. or hide like if i'm going to put myself out there i'm going to stand behind what i say and if i said something wrong i'm going to go ahead and own it so uh i want to give a shout out to representative sophie phillips um she was very quick to hop into the comments um so she hopped in the comments i invited her to come on and have a conversation very much like what we're having right now uh about it she accepted Agreed. my invitation yep um so this is the update so far so she accepted my invitation she was supposed to come in monday monday at four o'clock um she called me and she said hey vince uh, i wanted to let you know hey i i'm not going to come in at five o'clock um i'm pulling the bill from legislation we're going to go back and rework it and make sure that it's clear and what i told her in that conversation i said hey sophie look i'm, I'm not an asshole i'm a young person just like you know you are moving and shaking making things happen here in delaware um we want you know the best for uh everybody involved and like you know my goal is to hey let's have a conversation and and it sounded like we were in agreement there she's like hey i need to rework this thing i want to you know make sure that it's buttoned up before i go ahead and present it totally fair um yeah which which is fair so i i very much respect that she's also putting out another bill as well too a loitering bill so she's like i want to tighten that up so um yeah so like I, i'm down to support young people going going forward with stuff so i, I have no problem with that um, you know, young or old, but especially young people yeah. like it, we it, like to support our peers. Yeah. 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 It, it's, it's a huge risk going ahead and, you know, becoming a state representative, becoming God bless her. someone who's going to present and yeah. fight 
for what they believe in. Yeah. Yeah. And, and fight for what they believe in Yeah, and the people who can't fight for themselves. Yeah. So what I would like to just clarify to everybody out there, uh, and I told this to Sophie as well, too, at the Garmin Group, our mission statement is at the Garmin Group, everybody deserves a home that they can be proud of. So what I mean by that and like kind of how I got my start in this business is, and you guys see it every single day in here working with me, is I don't treat a rental client different than I treat a million dollar buyer. No. Our average sales price is around 350,000, which is like right on par with the average sales price in Newcastle County. Yep. We sell houses all the way down. I think our lowest sale in the last few years was like 75,000. Yeah. Um, all the way up to like our highest sale was 850 recently. Yeah. Um, so, with that like these are normal people buying and selling houses yeah these are normal people buying and selling houses who don't necessarily like understand the process they come to us for help and it it's my calling in life i literally feel a calling in life to go ahead and do this uh to help these people out because i learned firsthand you know what could happen if something goes wrong so my why in this business is i come from a blue collar family my dad is uh worked in refineries worked in you know power plants um and my mom was a secretary and they made the decision when they bought their house in the early 2000s they had an adjustable rate mortgage um and when that rate adjusted in the mid 2000s along with thousands of other families across america uh, my parents made the decision to go ahead and send me to private school to send my sister to private school um and and not pay the mortgage so my parents didn't pay the mortgage they got foreclosed on we figured it out they're still here they're still standing they're homeowners now today homeowners now yeah um so it it thank god they sent you to that private school you wouldn't be here today correct right yeah you're grateful for the path that got you here yeah i'm I'm grateful for yeah all all of our journeys because it it led me to sitting in this chair and having this conversation right now right and so that is like my why in the business to help out you know regular working class people figure out their real estate transactions right figure out hey how do i buy a house okay cool how do i buy an investment property hey i'm new to the area i need to figure out somewhere to live and like i love when people come to me and they're like oh yeah you know i'm trying to figure out what to do rent or buy like i know buying's the better decision i'm like no not for everyone not necessarily right like not always like you need to figure out a lot of other things first before you can figure out hey am i going to buy a house a 30-year decision yeah most of the time yeah. So, uh, so with, with, with house bill 55, like literally what we do for a living is we put people in houses. So I don't want anybody to be homeless. No, yeah. Right. And you know, finding shelter, finding homes for homeless people is just one part of that equation that we are down to assist with yeah. to help people out with that. So, uh, less when this podcast drops or whenever this airs at our most recent event um we sold t-shirts and we're donating the proceeds to a veterans homeless shelter right here in delaware yeah um so we're doing our part we're putting our money where our mouth is right and stepping up and and that's and, not enough obviously like no, but it's it's, it's better than it's something nothing, it's something right? you and gotta it, start somewhere you gotta start somewhere and you know this this is clearly an issue i learned stuff reading the bill delaware has a homeless population of like 238 people it's a Um, lot of people it's it's a lot lot of people it's a lot of whatever it is is it, it, it it's a problem so and how i look at you know just people in general is is how you do one thing is how you do everything so i tell our team like hey i've been selling real estate eight years i know you guys handle a lot like it's not beneath me to go ahead and do rental showings like no i've showed rentals the you know last couple weekends so um it's not beneath me to help out someone who is homeless right so like you've seen it all the time i've given money to homeless i've given them food like um i've i've helped them out like with what whatever i possibly could do um so like you know it's it, it, it's an issue and it's one i'm not scared to go ahead and, and put my opinion out there and to stand behind it and it's you know something i'm down to continue the conversation moving yeah, forward and i'm sure at some point so if you'll be on here possibly yeah well good i think that's enough for that right do you agree We'll see where it goes. I would say that's not an issue that's over or done or a no. conversation that's over. I think that that's just the surface. And for now, it is what it is. At, at, at the end of the day, you, you stood for something and you had your voice heard. And here we are. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So what else has been going on? We had a great cocktail connections last night. Mm-hmm. Great turnout. We had the Chevlins live music sponsored by the YPN. Shout out Newcastle County Board of Realtors. They were a great sponsor. Great turnout. Even though it was a little chilly, we've had some really warm days recently. And of course, we got one of the chillier ones for cocktails, but not an issue. A non-issue. We had the fire out. We had yeah. the normal, you know. Yeah. So for those of you uh, who may just be Sorry. tuning in, who may be new to our audience, uh, <laughs> one of the comments in the videos Sorry. was like, hey, what do you do for the community? Right. So here's what the Garmin Group does for the community. So in addition to helping people buy and sell houses, in addition to helping tenants find places to rent, in addition to helping landlords lease tenants, their properties, right. right? In addition to investing in real estate, uh, literally right here in our own neighborhood, we've taken three blighted properties that were run down in eyesores of the neighborhood and turned them into beautiful nice, homes. beautiful homes for people to live in. Um, so in addition to all that, uh, we run three free community events pretty much every single month. So uh, first event that we do, first Monday of every single month, we do a free community happy hour. Do you wanna give your plug for Coffee Connections, why it is the best event? And then Coffee Connections is, no, you said monthly happy hour. Uh, coffee meeting, coffee yeah. event. Let's start with coffee, yeah. So yeah. first event is is a free coffee event, first Monday of every month. It's a great way to start your week. It's a great way to start and come in, get a free coffee. You can come get a literal free coffee from Cafe Karma, which is the coffee spot in Northern Newcastle County, maybe all of Delaware, um, like the number one spot. So come get a free coffee at the best coffee shop in Delaware, right? Mm -hmm. Like, duh, come get it and leave. Say hi, leave. Yeah. There's no obligation. There's Zero. no, Hey, you need to listen to my sales you pitch. Can be hey, a you, mom. Need to you can be a stay at, stay at home mom. You can be a CEO. You can be a cleaner. You can be a, a, anyone. People will text me and be like, is it okay if I bring my, yes. Bring whoever. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Yep. That's number one. Yeah. So that's coffee. So second one is a free monthly happy hour that we run April through October, November ish. Maybe we'll try Depends to figure out a way to do it in the winter. Probably not. Right. Yeah. But go on. Um, but uh, so we run that one right here at our office, 1801 Delaware Ave. I'm right here on this corner every single day. So if you got an issue, feel free to come in and talk to me. I'll be happy to talk to you. Um, so the free community happy hour, we got food, we got drinks. Um, if you don't want to drink alcohol, we got water, we got soda free, come on out, meet some neighbors, meet some people, some other movers and shakers in the area. Who know? You might find your next love. You might find your next business partner. Yeah, you, you never might, know. you know, who knows what you're going to find here. Right. Um, last night we had uh, live music, shout out the Chevlins. They were awesome. Uh, they crushed it. And they will be, this is going on on Monday, they will be at Finnegan's Thursday night, this upcoming Thursday night, the Chevlins. Yeah, so let's give a little plug right here. So uh, we'll cut this into uh, a reel. So um, <laughs> shout out the Chevlins for performing at our Cocktail Connections last night. Catch the Chevlins live, Finnegan's Pub, 302, 7 to 10 p.m. this Thursday, April 25th. This is going to be fantastic. What are your thoughts on the Chevlins? They're awesome. They are really good at like reading the room. Like you ever go to a restaurant and the duo or the band or whatever, it's just like not reading the room. Like everyone's chilling and enjoying their dinner and the band just like rocking out and you're just like chill, like chill or vice versa. Like everyone's ready to rage and the band's like, Amber is the color of your energy, <laughs> right? It, like, whatever. Um, so the Chevlins read the room. They're really good at reading the room. Let's hype everyone up when they're hype. Let's chill when everyone's chill. And they're very, like, up to date with great latest songs, but they're also really good with, like, the old school classics. And yeah. they're just a brother-sister duo, and we love them. They crush it. Yeah, shout out the Chevlins. Love them. Can't wait. See you guys at Finnegan's 302 Yep. Uh, for that. So, um, And then the third monthly event that we are starting, first one is going to be this Saturday. Maybe we get a clip out, maybe not. With no rush. We don't need to get a clip out. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, this Saturday, and will be the third Saturday moving forward, the Garmin Group has partnered with Thrive Athletics and Cafe Karma once again to bring a free community workout Saturday mornings, 8 to 9 at Thrive Fitness, right next to the Concord Mall and home base on three o on uh, 202. Um, so come on out, get your sweat on, meet some other movers and shakers in the area. Go ahead, meet some people in your community. Maybe meet your next love interest. Huh. Maybe meet your next business partner. Maybe just meet your next friend. Maybe just get right? a good workout in. Maybe just get a good workout in. Nobody, right? Nobody's got a problem with that. Yeah. Yeah. So um the yeah so what does the gg do for communities we build communities we right. bring communities together and we like to you know shine our bright light and we like to do things for free 
yep. for no ask for nothing in return exactly yeah yeah so pivoting away from uh content social media all the craziness the podcast itself has been doing super well lately we've had some awesome guests on anything you want to reflect on the last couple of weeks having the guests on yeah so in like keeping with the theme of like building community and bringing community together uh my favorite part is like when we drop that first initial reel yeah and like hey this is this week's guest yeah. right watching them bring like their audience and community in and just like seeing the comments and love that they get yeah because that's like their top fans that yeah. are are hitting them up so um that's what i like love uh so far and like usually i'm sitting in that chair interviewing or like you're sitting in that chair interviewing the person um so it it is nice to be on this side a little bit um and like just just having the people what i tell everybody is like is like hey you're a bright light thanks for coming in we're underneath the bright lights right here uh so like it's it's been awesome just like the quality of guests that, that they've that been good conversations had. yeah it's been yeah. good no but yeah. but yeah the guests have been awesome it's and it's definitely taken this to a different level of like yeah and excitement what, yeah and and like one of my biggest things with with the podcast uh is i i unfortunately i i lost a, a good family friend um last summer um and uh chris hupfelt um i went to high school with his sons and uh in like his obit um not necessarily his obit but philly he was a big lacrosse guy in the philadelphia area and in the article with philly lacrosse he happened to do a podcast like a year earlier wow and it was him for like an hour and a half just talking about old school philadelphia lacrosse talking about our team that I played on with his son in 2011, the 2015 team, and it just like really captured his voice and like some stories that like, hey, if you ever wanted to go back and listen, right. like it's it's there. It's for like him. a museum. Like it literally is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I how I look at like our lives and like what we do is it's literally a digital scrapbook. Time capsule too. So yeah, a time capsule. Yeah. Right. So what I like to do with a lot of the podcast guests. And this is what we were talking about the other night. Like, hey, you know, the two biggest names in the podcast world are Joe Rogan and Alex Cooper, right? Right. Joe Rogan, he doesn't really need to prepare for his guests. He sits down. It's a three-hour interview. And he has his his guy there, Jamie, to, you know, hey, just pull it up on the screen, whatever they're talking about, right? And he doesn't necessarily have to prepare for it because he takes that first hour, like, really getting to know his guests. Yeah. Just diving into He just shoots the shit. Yeah. He just shoots the shit with them. Whereas Alex Cooper is a little bit more selective with her guests. It's it's highly edited, it's highly like scripted and like It's a reality show. In, and it's a reality show and it's put out that way. And I think we're like some sort of like combination of the two. Right. We prepare. Yeah. But we also just like go with the flow. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So so you need to have that blend there a little bit. So like what I like doing for the guests sort of deal is going ahead, getting to know them, getting like their story out there. And I love asking the question for majority of our guests hey have you ever done a podcast before no this is my first one yeah they're yeah. all they all say no yeah and like i've been doing podcasts for five years now like like we five years i would say five years ago i probably did my first podcast like Which as a guest who? i forget exactly who right uh -huh. um but like i i've been on podcasts i've been on interviews yes, like you've done a couple like podcasts. you grew up playing high school sports you got interviewed before right so yeah. like you've you've been on stuff right like I did stuff when I was playing lacrosse. Hey, you get interviewed, you know, for this article that we're dropping on this game, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, like I like my name's out there, right? And, and I've been out there. And what I like doing for these guests is going ahead and like giving them something that you know <laughs> their mom, their grandmom can listen to, right? And like it's it's a time capsule of hey, this is where they were at this moment in their life. Like we hopped into them as the person first, right? And figured out, you know. Like, hey, who are you? How, right? How'd you get here? Yeah, how did you get to this point to be sitting in this chair? Um, because, like, let's just call it what it is. It's a privilege to sit in this chair. Ooh. Yeah, it's a privilege. And like, we do have a little wait list. We have a wait list. And, yeah. like, there are. We're getting, I'm, I'm starting to, like, it's giving me anxiety because I'm like, I don't know who to pick next. It's, it's, it's tough to decide. Yeah. And, like, we're booked through, like, June. Past right. June, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, we're booked through June, and, like, there's tons of people hitting us up. Hey, I want to be on the podcast. Hey, I want to be on the podcast, right? And it's like, okay. Like, number one, you got something to talk about? Like, like do you think you're ready for, like, these bright lights? These right? bright lights. Yeah, yeah. And then number two, like, like can you bring it? Can you bring the energy? Like, right. Um, so, 
uh, that that's where we're at with it. And I, I love what we do on, on the podcast. Like I'm not up here sitting talking about real estate and interest rates and stuff like that. Like, nobody you know, cares. yeah, nobody Spoiler cares. Right. Nobody um, cares. I'm happy to do that if you guys want to talk about that, but, uh, right. you know, but I, I think people like hearing the story. They like, you, you sell with a story, like, like you tell the story uh, of the people. So you tell the story of an Antimo de Mayo, of a Robert Herrera, like of a Nick's pizza 302, um, these, you know, legends of a Gene Deldon, right? Yeah. So like, like you, you get to encapsulate and tell these stories and just chop it up and just like going ahead and recording that conversation and having it saved in perpetuity is, is I think a real benefit and gift that we give to our guests and the community. Cause we put it out there. Mm -hmm. So cool. Tell me more about the podcast. <laughs> You're funny today. You're on one. I have been on one. I know. I know. I know. I just thought this now. was going to be a little low key podcast and you're like, you're, you're bringing the heat. I always bring the heat <laughs> and if you can't take the heat. So let's pivot well a little bit to, uh, yeah. to us, our life, our update, as you know, and as we, you know, can feel we've been super busy lately. We're very fortunate. We've positioned ourselves pretty well in this real estate market, and we've been super busy with a lot of listings, a lot of buyers. Our business is Tots busier stressed. than ever. To stress. stress. <laughs> this is the. Would you say the busiest we've ever been? Yes and no. Yeah. yeah, yeah yes. It's, it's not a loaded question. Yes or yes and no. Sure. Yeah. So I, I I don't we don't they don't care how busy we are. Sure. Yeah. I'm just I mean I'm saying all this that to say this like. We have a lot going on. We're growing our family. We're growing mm -hmm. our team. We're growing our business. We're growing property management, et cetera. There's a lot going on. Um, GG development company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on. And our kids are doing great. We're in a good mm -hmm. place with our babies. Murphy's getting ready to turn two. Winslow's getting ready to turn one. We have our big birthday party coming up for the two of them. Combined parties don't kill us. Um, they'll appreciate it someday, maybe. Which let's just... Do I have permission to call you out? Yeah. Adamant. They're each getting their first birthday party. I know. I always said that. And you folded so quick. On year one. <laughs> so quick. No, combined birthday parties, I'm the worst. But it just feels so silly to have back to back. They're five weeks apart. So it feels so silly to bring my family up from the beach. Your nah, best friend, Dan cares. Bell. Nobody from cares. Yeah, it's silly. Next, it's yeah. silly. They are never going to remember these parties anyway. So, yeah, we'll combined birthday parties. But, yeah, things are rocking and rolling with the kids. One story I wanted to tell, we started talking about it the other day, and I said, wait, we got to talk about this on the podcast. <laughs> we stopped the conversation right then and there. So, fun fact about Vincent is Vincent does gymnastics with Murphy. True mm -hmm. or false? True. So the way this is kind of working is I've done the bulk of swim lessons with Murphy on Wednesday nights, and Vincent's really been taking the lead on gymnastics. And after gymnastics, of course, I'm like obsessed with my daughter, as many mothers are. I want to hear every detail. So when Vincent gets home from gymnastics, he literally tells me every detail. I make him tell me every detail from the moment he walked out the door. So I want to hear about what songs did you listen to in the car on the way there? And what kind of Great donut Pandora. did you get from Dunkin' Donuts on the way back, right? Like I want every single detail. So he's telling me the other day, he's like, yeah. And then, you know, it's open floor time. So we did some forward rolls and I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we did some forward rolls and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, who's, who's we? <laughs> who's we? So he goes on to tell me about how Vincent is doing, doing gymnastics with Murphy. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Yeah. So gymnastics is awesome. Shout out Galaxy Gymnastics. Uh, it's super adorable. Literally her whole entire daycare school goes to A lot of the daycare also it. goes there. Yeah. So she has um, a lot of friends there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all ages and uh, her her time is Saturdays at, at 9 a.m. And Saturdays at 9 a.m. I would say is what, what's the cutoff or the beginning age 18, 18 months. months yeah so it's 18 months to probably like four years old mm -hmm. um and if they're like under two or three you need to have a parent on the floor so right. overall it's probably somewhere like you know 20 ish kids total um, in the whole total. class yeah and, but your and, little group is like what six seven kids pretty much yeah yeah so it's like six or seven kids with with a parent with one parent each um because there's a lot it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They it, couldn't it, do it without the parents. It's a lot. And it's 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 like high school, college girls like coaching them. Yeah. Um, 
And so... Yeah, thanks uh, for painting the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so there's the picture painted. So um, how I look at it is, is like, hey, this is, you know, a little workout time. Like, <laughs> so I get out there. Now and, that you're on your fitness journey. Yeah, yeah, we're back on this fitness kick. So I'm out there and like, we're warming up. We are stretching. Like we're doing jumping jacks. Like I'm doing the full workout bend over touch the toes right stretch it right so and to give you context the other parents are like standing against the wall probably right just chilling there yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. literally just chilling and just like making sure their kid gets back in line sort of right. deal um they're with, holding their coffee cups yeah, like they're chilling with me i'm i'm like this is an opportunity for me to go ahead and get some reps in so <laughs> this is an opportunity <laughs> for me to get better get bigger get faster get so stronger. like when we go to the bar section like don't tell me you grab the bar i'm going ahead and gra- grabbing some pull-ups <laughs> you better not yeah I'm, I'm i'm hitting some pull-ups in there you um, are not Yes, I'm, I'm hitting some pull-ups, yeah. Um, when we go... <laughs> this is why I tabled this conversation. I knew it was going to get juicier. Yeah, yeah. When we go to the balance beam section, like, no. I, I get my reps. You do not get on the balance beam. A little bit, yeah. There's there's like 10 balance beams. Like is it the, the low floor. one? Yeah, get on, on the, the low floor one. floor and That's stuff. Fine. Yeah, That's yeah, fine. That's yeah, yeah. fine. If I, you I, got I, up on the big, tall one. No, I'm not up on the big, tall one. I'm not that ridiculous. <laughs> Teachers are holding yeah. your hand. Yeah, but... Uh, but the, the funny thing the that sparked mat. this conversation is, is the open mat. So, uh, the open he mat. He tells me, yeah, I was just getting a couple of rolls in. I'm like, I need you to elaborate. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, are you like, you know, like just tumbling here or there one or two? And he's like, no, no. Yeah. I'm so, getting my rolls. So the open mat, it's a full cheer floor, full gymnastics floor. So it's, it's like nine rolls. It's, like it's, it's big. It's, and it's a, it's a spring floor. Um, so like there's some bounce to it. So while we're out there and stuff, like they're, we're broken up in a little group. So there's only like four to five kids a group, four to five in parents this big in section. there in yeah. this big old section. Um, so a couple things I do with Murph are number one, um, we're working on her sprinting. So <laughs> he makes we, her do sprints. Yeah, yeah. So we do. She willingly but she loves does. It. No, yeah, she, loves she willingly it, yeah. does the sprints. She's an athlete for yeah, sure. So we like to tire her out. So she does some sprints. Um, <laughs> then we work on our cartwheels together. So dad goes ahead and does some cartwheels and the other parents clap for me. They love, they're like, whoa, you just did a cartwheel. I'm like, yeah, I just did a cartwheel. Um, and then last week, what we added. The other parents do not clap. Well, we added into the repertoire last week. And I really think this helps Murph out. She's so inspired by you. Well, like the, the coaches don't demonstrate the stuff. They're like, hey, do a forward it's roll. It's like a free-for-all, yeah. I'm like, she's almost two. She's never done a forward roll in right. her life, right? right? Like, you got to demonstrate what a forward roll is. So, for a while there, she was just doing side rolls. Yeah, so she like, would roll on her side. Yeah, it was so cute. she was just rolling down, like, the little triangle mat sideways. Right, like you would roll down a hill. Yeah, yeah. So, now she's starting to get the forward roll. So, like, this week, I was like... Let me hit a forward roll, right? <laughs> so I hit a forward roll. Down the triangle? On the triangle. Boom. <laughs> pop right up to my feet. I'm like, that felt great. That <laughs> felt great. Like, let's roll, right? This Peloton's so, working out. Like, I, I, like, I'm following her around again, and, like, the opportunity comes up. Like, the mat's open again, and she's looking at it. I'm like, all right, here we go, Murph. One, two, two forward roll. And I pop right up again. I'm like, this is great. And then I did it <laughs> two for two. again and again. <laughs> And again, I think I hit five forward rolls and I was getting more and more aggressive each time with my run up to the mat, into the forward roll, into my pop up. I'm so secondhand embarrassed like for Murphy. She loved it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, That clock is ticking because sooner or later she's going to be like, dad, stop. I think she just loves it. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been getting in my forward rolls. I'm going to work on getting into my my back roll press up again. I was really good at that when I wrestled. The the parents on the wall have got to be like. Yo, 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 watch this guy. Watch this guy. He's about to do another roll. They role. love it. <laughs> they love it. I got my chain going and stuff like that. They love it. I might bring the earrings back again a little bit. I swear bit. to God, you better not. Yeah. But, yeah, so if <laughs> if you want some entertainment, you can come to Galaxy <laughs> Gymnastics at 9 a.m. You can see. What, you on the balance beam? You can see Daddy doing some forward rolls. Oh, my God. Poor Murphy. God bless her soul. <laughs> yeah, so, like... To paint the picture, he's telling me this story like on a Saturday morning at like 10 a.m. And I'm like, I, I can't hear this right now. I can't hear this right now. Well, you're doing gymnastics this weekend. So I know. You'll so maybe I'll roll. jump in. Maybe I'll hit some rolls. Probably won't. Maybe a little handstand. I do got to get back on my handstand grind. But yeah, things are going great with the kids. Winslow's finally sleeping through the night. Hallelujah. Um, which has literally allowed me to be ever more present in life. This is what it feels like to like have life in your face. It's amazing. Um, you've lost a couple pounds. Anything you want to say about that? 
Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I, I have lost some pounds. Um, I definitely feel lighter, um, both physically and mentally. Um, it was all in my belly, which, which we all know is wild. Um, but yeah, so it was a uh, cheesesteak belly. It was a cheesesteak belly. Um, so I, uh, made the conscious decision new year new me cringe right? but sticking to it understood yeah it would have been cringe if i would have given up you know right if i was doing so- sober january and right. the first weekend I it comes in. up and my sister comes in and peer pressures Shh. me yeah that would have been embarrassing um <laughs> but we've been sticking to it so uh it's literally all been diet so uh i don't not really- on ozempic no, we're not heard on it here first. Yeah, heard it here first. So shout out to all the people asking me, like, Yo, are you are you doing the shot? <laughs> <laughs> no, not doing the shot. But um, shout out those who do. Shout out those who do. We're not going to discriminate. Um, but yeah, I've lost uh, 30 pounds. Uh, so I definitely worked on the before bod. So I had 30 pounds to lose. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, it's all been diet. So uh, I started in January with switching over to just a protein shake for breakfast. Uh, so I drink that somewhere between like 8.30, 9 o'clock after I do drop off in the morning. And then I've just been making better decisions at lunch and dinner. And I switched over to uh, during Lent. So I fasted for Lent for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, so fasting is an ancient Christian practice. It's an ancient practice just in general, um, going ahead and fasting. So uh, I switched over to protein shake for breakfast, protein shake for lunch, and then just making better decisions at dinner. And literally the weight has just literally fallen off. Yeah. And Um, then we got a Peloton to take it to the next level. Yep. Um, so now you're putting some muscle on putting some muscle on Yeah, 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 yeah. These legs are, yeah, we're definitely team Peloton right now. I get the Peloton like buzz. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I wish I had one during COVID. I see why people are addicted. Correct. Yeah, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, we're definitely into the Peloton right now. So that's definitely been helping as well. Yeah, the Peloton's legit legitness. Um, yeah, so love that. Love that for you. Yeah, I'm down a couple pounds too, but same as you. Had him, We had them to lose. Mm-hmm. We had a couple pounds to lose. Yeah. But, you know, it's life. It is life. It's just a season. It's just a season. Cool. Well, I feel like that's a good place to end it. I feel like we... Uh, yeah, I'm excited for the next couple guests that we have. So everybody keep an eye out for the next couple guests. Um, and yeah, it was nice to just like check in, sit down and hash out some things that we've been going through, talking about um, and just put it out there. Yeah, well, I appreciate you having me on. Uh, <laughs> this was nice. Um, would love to come back. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, would love to come back. Um, but yeah, life's going good. So if you guys ever need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Literally anything. Like if you need, you know, a house, we got you. Um, if you need an intro to someone, we most likely have someone in our network we can hook you up with. Um, uh, you know, both professionally and romantically. No, um, you don't need to set anyone up romantically. <laughs> uh, but no, like literally any, anything you ever need, we want to be a resource. So um, literally in our my Compass Real Estate bio, uh, I talk about being a connector. So um, your net your network is your net worth. And I think we have a very good one. So uh, yeah, shout out to all those who um, believe and support us. We love you guys. And especially shout out to those haters. We love you guys too. So <laughs> The haters of which there are many. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a not lot. that many, but they're, yeah. you know, they're there. It is what it is. Well, thank you guys for joining in on another awesome episode of Life on the Ave, episode 39. Can't wait to see who we bring on for 40. See you next week. Peace out. Love y'all.